Okay, so let's make our first uh, design file. So it can be a little confusing for this first screen. Yours is gonna look different from mine because they change this quite often. If you have nothing like mine, you might go up to the top left hand here and click on the little drop down. If you're somewhere else, you might have to click on the home button first and then this little drop down. And what you're looking to do is to click on your name. Mine will be a bit blurry here because it's got my email addresses as well, but click on your name, not community, click here, and you should get to something resembling my screen. What we want to do is a new design file. That only appeared the other day. And so what I've normally done in the past is I go to, we're going to create a drafts. Okay, and it's this little plus, it's kind of next to it. Okay, so either way, we're making a new design file. Okay, and there we go. All right, if you're brand new, I've kind of reset my Figma, so all these little pop-ups. You can show stuff. I'm here to show you, so I'm gonna cancel that. You end up with this big nothing screen. So we've got our design file, okay? Now we need to introduce frames. Frames are these guys here. It's this uh, little icon here, third one in, click on it. Okay, and you can draw out any size frame. Think of a frame as a page, okay? So if we're drawing an app, we're gonna draw something kind of like, oh, go back to this tool here, draw out something that looks like an app. You can have multiple frames, okay? All sorts of different sizes, desktop one, tablet one. So frames have many uses, okay? But at this early stage of the course, think of them as a page or an artboard if you're from Adobe land. And what we need to do is delete them because those are random sizes. Click anywhere in the inside of them, hit delete, click them, delete them. All right, so go to your frame tool and actually let's be a little bit more uh, specific with our sizes. Okay, over here you'll have some pre-made sizes. Okay, you are gonna be in the future, so you might be at iPhone 52. Okay, I'm gonna use iPhone 8. It's a nice generic size for both uh, Android and Apple. Some of these big ones get a bit big and strange sized. Now the goal here is to pick a size that is generic. Okay, we're not gonna design every different iPhone in different size. We're gonna design something close enough to the general purpose phone and our developer will build something that is a bit more responsive and we'll, we'll adjust for the kind of small changes in the different pixels. So pick a phone size that is quite generic. It's easiest just to Google like most common phone size, um, you know, and you will get something or most common desktop size, okay? And you will get something in here and pick it. If you're designing a watch, if you're doing kind of just regular old, old school paper, the wood stuff. Okay, there's all sorts of things in here. So yours will be different. Now, I'm gonna start with a phone and I'm gonna start with iPhone 8, even though it's really old. I don't know why it's still in here. Hey, it is, but it's a good generic size. 375 pixels I like. You can adjust it afterwards. Here's your frame. Okay, and you can say, actually, the new size is not even listed there. I'm gonna use 400 and just type over the top. I'm gonna undo that because iPhone 8 is perfect for what I need. And again, if you're watching in the future and there's no like iPhone 8, you can type in this, uh, 375. 667 to get the same dimensions, but hey, go with whatever is common for you right now. The other thing I tend to do is I try and at the meeting figure out what kind of phone my client has, because they're gonna be potentially testing it on their phone. Okay, so I wanna make sure like, if they've got some sort of phone, I might use that just so that it, the mock-up works really great on their phone. So we're gonna end up with naming loads of these frames because iPhone 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 is not gonna help us. So we're gonna double click on the word up here or you can double click over here in your layers panel. If you can't see the layers, you might be on assets. Okay, double click it, either one, and let's call this one. Remember our task flow, okay, we've got, we're gonna have our marketing page. We'll call it the homepage. Homepage slash uh, marketing page. We want another one. So you can go back to your frame tool, click on iPhone 8 again, you'll get another one and just keep going the way through. We're not gonna do huge amounts of shortcuts in this course, but we're gonna have to learn a few. The first one's gonna be spacebar. So hold down spacebar. It's pretty common in lots of design programs, right? And click hold and drag. Okay, and I'm gonna name it in this one. So remember our task flow is marketing page, then product details. Another shortcut that we use quite a lot is you can just copy and paste these frames. So just click the name, command C on a Mac or control C on a PC, then V. So Command V, we've got another one. Control V on a PC, okay? Up to you. I say no shortcuts, <laughs> and I start with lots of shortcuts. Uh, let's put in our four pages. So our task list said, we do that, product details, what else was there? It was a checkout, okay? And uh, copy, paste, spacebar, click and drag. We are going to do our confirmation. Cool. So in the same document, there's no reason why you can't then go, actually, now I want my desktop version. Okay, so I'm gonna click on frame. I'm gonna say tablet 
and I'm going to say we're going to be designing for the iPad Pro 12 because that's the one I own. Okay, and over here, landscape portrait. Let's space bar across landscape portrait. You can remove them. Okay, I'm going to click the name. You drag the name, space bar around, drag the name around. Okay, you might say copy paste, paste, and do the same thing. We're going to have home page, product details. Same with like uh, the desktop versions. I'm going fast here because we're going to delete them, so you don't need to. Maybe practice playing around with it. Okay. And um, if you see this one's iPad Pro at the moment, okay, you can click on this frame and say, actually, now you are um, a normal kind of standard desktop. That's a really good desktop size, okay, um, really common and generic. Now, zooming in and out, Command on a Mac, Control on a PC, and just hit the plus and minus keys, okay. There's a million different ways of doing lots of things here in Figma. I'm going to give you one way that I think is probably the easiest at your level, or just the generic best way. If you do find another way, and you're horrified I'm not using the hold option, hold the command key down and use my scroll wheel. That's what I can do. To zoom in and out, you can do that, that's fine. But what I want you to do is for this course is I'm gonna select all of these and I'm just using this tool. It defaults to it every time so you don't really need to pick it that much. I'm just gonna delete it. This is where I want you to be at the end of this. If you end up in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> I zoomed in into the middle of nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out. Use my space bar, get it right in the middle, and then zoom in. Okay, so this is what I want you to get to. I want just four boring old frames, okay, and I want you to name them all. And the last thing I want to show you, kind of kicking off this getting used to Figma, is naming your file. Just so you know, you're going to end up with lots of untitled documents. <laughs> it just happens. I don't know, this program loves to have untitled documents. <laughs> um, so we're going to be really specific and actually name them. If we click off in the background here, can you see it appears up there? If you've got something selected, it goes away. Have nothing selected. Click in no man's land and you can click up here and you can say, give it a name. Okay, and you've already got your brief, right? So mine is Scott. Yours is going to be something different. But we're all going to call ours Ecom V1. Okay, so you pick your you know, the name of your company and put Ecom V1. Our e-commerce version one. Just the V1, just something. A, B, C, one, two, three. It doesn't matter. As long as you're not like a final person, final one, final revisited. Final, final. If you're laughing, it's you know what I'm talking about. I'm talking to you. Give it some versioning numbers. There are some sweet features later on for like versioning within the document, but that's later on. Another thing is if you have got a bunch of untitled, you can. Let's go back to, I want to explore this little house or go back to, yeah, go back to the little house. Remember, make sure you're at your little name here and not community, okay? And what you'll notice is, look, there he is down there, uh, Ecom1. If you've got lots of uh, untitled already, okay, I've planned mine out, you can right click them and go to rename and just do it there. Or open them up and do what we just did. Back to this tab, back to home. Keep practicing that. Home base, into our work, kind of like a browser. All right, that is our basic setup. These are frames. The whole thing's called a design file. Frames have other sneaky settings that we'll talk about later in the course, but for the moment, consider them pages or artboards, but they call them frames. Onwards to the next video. All right, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, consider giving it a thumbs up-y likey thing, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I've got lots more Figma tutorials here. Also, if you do want to go further with Figma, I've got a full course called Figma Essentials. Uh, check out the card up here or link in the description. All right, bye for now.